Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalisa Dawn. I remain Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we're gonna have a match now between Anarchid and Snuggle Base on Isis Delta, which is probably a terrible idea, but I want to show off different maps from time to time. And not a lot of games have been play played on Zed, and that's a really cool map. I want more games to be played on the map because that map is beautiful. I was playing on it earlier today. Wow. That is a really pretty map. It also works kind of nicely for spiders. Which, so does this one, in fact, but it was, it was interesting. I hadn't actually played in the map before, but man, it looks beautiful. The, the only other map I've seen besides Ice Coffee, which was my own, that, used the, that uses the Sky Reflect map, which makes all the ground reflect the sky, and it looks, it looks nice. It looks wonderful. Anyway, hopefully people play more on that map, because it seems like a pretty decent map. Certainly a very pretty map. But that's not the map that we're looking at here. We're looking at Isis Delta, which is not as pretty. Still kind of pretty. I mean, tropical stuff is always kind of nice to look at. Very bright. But also kind of wonky due to the fact that it's very clearly asymmetric. So, Snuggle Base with Amphib and Anakin with Amphib as well. Anakin's starting out in this little corner here. So, Snuggle Base, I mean, does have that corner. The mexes are sort of symmetric. The center here is not symmetric. But the edges are not too far off. They aren't exactly symmetric, but there's some decent similarities there. However, this match, it was actually apparently the first of four matches. I'll show the first one and the last one, since the middle two are... Well, one of them is apparently not very good, and the other one is on Comic Catcher. And I've shown, shown so many Comic Catcher matches that I feel that some variety is in order. So yeah, I'll see the first one, see the last one. After this one. Oh, Team on Team is wondering. Zed. Z-E-D. I realize it's a little recursive, but yes, that's what it's called. It's Z-E-D. It's called Zed. It looks like a Zed. I believe it's based on the StarCraft 2 map Cloud Kingdom, but I'm not entirely sure. Moose has been doing that a little bit, which, on the one hand, I mean, they're good maps, so why not? On the other hand, it makes me feel like people are going to compare this to StarCraft even harder than they would have otherwise, because there's a bunch of StarCraft maps, like Ravaged, and now Zed, and also Isle of Grief, I think it's called. All of them are really good, well, Isle of Grief's okay, but the other two are quite good maps, good-looking maps, but also kind of obviously taking off of StarCraft 2 maps, which is, I don't know, not the best thing to do, I think. But at any rate, as far as having maps that give us a good situation for developing how the game works and figuring out how the game works in maps that aren't just flat vehicle maps, I appreciate that. Oh, never mind, it's not Zed that's Cloud Kingdom. Zed is... maybe it's original, I'm not sure. Play, it seemed to play pretty well. So anyway, Anarchid, as you can see, going to the south, wanting to heal up because that's what you do in water. Ducks heal, well, all amphib units heal up in water. Well, Snuggle Base, going on that land route, which is not the best. Okay, Anarchid's commander should be okay here. They haven't upgraded yet, but they are playing recon, which means they're probably going for a heavy machine gun. I'm guessing right. See, they are... Yep, Heavy Machine Gun. That's typically how players will do it. Like, typically you see Beam Laser on Support Com, Riot Cannon on Battle Com, and Heavy Machine Gun on Recon Com. The Heavy Machine Gun thing is actually a fairly recent development, but that's, as far as I can tell, what the high-level players tend to do a lot. Not that that's necessarily the best choice, but that tends to be the choice people go for. Although... Oh, that's why it's a Trainer Com. Okay, that explains why it's a common thing, because Anarchy is just using the Trainer Com, they're not using their own custom commanders. Another thing I'm glad to see, actually. I'll get to that after this battle, though. Because it looks like Snuggle Base is... Are they going to be able to take this out? I think Anarchids... Well, they're forced to retreat, obviously. They've not got much to retreat to, though, so it looks like Anarchids should be fine. They're not going to be pincered or anything. Anyways, I was saying, yeah, the fact that Anarchids using the trainers... I don't know if that's because they're in an uneven area. They're kind of handicapping themselves by using trainers. But as far as I know... The trainers are actually fine. They're they're fully competitive. And that's Oh, never mind. That's that is custom commander. My mistake. I thought it was actually one of the regular trainer commanders. Because the custom commander thing is one of those things that I think might turn people off because there's, you know, stuff you have to unlock, 
which I agree with, I totally understand, and I'm quite glad that it's reduced to just commanders, rather than actually being units and factories and such as it used to be. The only thing is that the the commander thing still kind of looks a bit off, even though commanders are in practice not that useful, like commander upgrades aren't that relevant past level 1. And the trainer comes, if those are actually perfectly viable, then that's even better, because if enough, if people were to complain and go, well, how, how is it supposed to work? Are we supposed to just play? Why do we have to unlock stuff? Why can't we just play? Like, well, you can. The trainers are fine. They're perfectly competitive. That would be great. And I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, so apparently Anarchid just sets up a bunch of joke commander names with, with something trainer. And it's not, it's not basically probably going to lose this out, too. Hard to tell, though. Nope, Alpha beat... Oh, no, are those... Those are Snuggle Bases, yeah. Alpha beat, beat Surround. Anarchy had the Surround, and Snuggle Base had just enough Alpha at the right time, in the right place. And I guess Splash Damage, too. A little surprising there, but it looks like Snuggle Base has pulled ahead. Giving Anarchy very little to work with here. Anarchy's also not expanded very much, and they expanded to sort of the top. They're getting the bottom slowly but surely, but they don't have a lot of workers at the moment from the looks of it. Well, Snuggle Base does. I mean, right now there's... How many workers there? Seven workers, and of them, it looks like most of them are in Anarchist's base building up their overdrive, building up their energy, rather than getting more metal. Now, given that, Anarchid could use that to try to break Snuggle Base, because Snuggle Base doesn't have a lot of defenses. Most of these are naked. If it weren't for the fact that Snuggle Base was doing a lot of damage and attacking and being very intimidating, Anarchid could totally come in here. And now that with these ducks dying, that's actually a nice open window. If Anakin could come in there along the south side where there are no defenses, or even the center where there are no defenses, or even the, well, the north side has defenses. But yeah, if they could come through a side that doesn't have defenses, that would work out very nicely. Unfortunately, they don't have the units to really do that quite yet. They're pushing what they can, pushing as much metal as they can in there, but still, even with the overdrive, that's not a whole lot of overdrive. Just getting these wind generators up, it's just trying, getting that over, but that's a plus one metal extractor to begin with. Most of the overdrive they're going to get is from plus 1.5 and maybe plus 1.3. They could pile on down to that, that would probably do the trick. But yeah, the plus 1 metal extractors are not going to be helped that much with the energy. Seeing as it is a multiplicative system. But at any rate, Anarchid's not really in a position to do much. Although this scal- oh, this scallop might actually do things. I don't know if it will though, it's gonna come down to whether or not the ducks hit it first, and it looks like the scallop will die. Taking most of the ducks with it, so at least that opens things up a little bit, but even then, Anarchid's not getting any headway. They're setting up some good flanks though, these ducks coming into the- through the center while the one comes to the south flanking. That- that's pretty good. Scallops as a response to that is even better. So Anarchid's not gonna have much of a chance here. I mean, one of these ducks should be able to at least get rid of the radar, maybe get rid of a couple metal extractors. But the scallops are going to be death for those. Why is this one not... Why is that not attacking? Can I not... S wow, I guess it must block line of sight. That's actually kind of surprising. Did not expect that to happen. And it looks like Anarchid is able to get some damage done on Snuggle Base. Nice, getting rid of several metal extractors. That's very nice to do. Uh, the valuable ones, too. That's exactly the ones that they want to get rid of. Of course, these ducks should probably go over and start smashing up more metal extractors. There we go, that's one more down. And Anarchid at this point, pretty fully built up. As you can see, Snuggle Base has no real overdrive. They do, however, have a scallop drop coming in here, which... Given how close this game is right now, that could break it. I think that will probably win the game. If they hit the main base... I, do they know where to go? They have no idea where to go! This is a complete total guess, but they've they've guessed right. And that is going to be it. It's not, this is this is game. These scouts are gonna come in and smash everything up, and that's gonna that's gonna seal it. With all the ducks that were in play, that's not gonna matter, and that's that's game. I don't see Anarchid coming back from this at all. These scalps just tear apart everything and then that'll be it. So I guess that's why Anarchid said this wasn't the best game. Although, hey, scallop drop wasn't all bad. Of course, there are some scallops that are still in play for Anarchy, but it's not enough. There are no boys. If there are boys, I'd be worried, but there aren't. It's This is it. Just tear apart the resources, tear apart the defenses, tear apart the remaining units, tear apart the... Fa oh, not even tear apart the factory, don't even worry about that. 
Although it looks like Anarchist not giving up yet. That's good attitude. Setting up another Amphib plant. In about 20 seconds, they should be able to have that set up, but that'll be another minute or so before they have a decent amount of ducks or boys or anything, really. Not to mention that the Brawler coming in, that's going to be an even bigger problem. And, of course, they have no power infrastructure, since they had banked everything on those wind generators. The former wind generators, the ones that did exist. But rather unfortunately for them, they are very low on power. Are they going to go for titles? Yes, they are. Okay, that makes sense. I'm a bit surprised that they haven't pushed in, though. I mean, really, just this duck. This duck has free reign and can go around tearing apart all these metal extractors, all the ones up here, all the power generators, this very powerful metal extractor up here that's getting overdriven. I don't know why this duck is just sitting there. But that is going to be probably the game. And flanking in with the scalps. More scalp. Actually, is that flanking in? That looks, sorry, I was distracted. The the game is pretty much over, though. Anakin, I'm, I admire the tenacity, but I don't know that there's much left. And Anakin realizes this as well, throwing in the towel, and we're going to move on to what was apparently a good game between the two. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Stay tuned.